So I lost some more video footage. Um, just juggling too many memory cards. But anyway, here's the Gobi 210 all the way built up. Um, the final product. DYS 2205, 2550 motors. Little B 20 amp ESCs. Uh, seriously Dodo flight controller and Seriously Dodo PDB. Uh, I'm using the Fox Sear Arrow, which is nice because it gives voltage to me on screen. Uh, Ready made RC Cricket video transmitter, TBS Tramp, uh, all running four cells and on Beta Flight 3.0. Um, I'm going to put up uh, the footage uh, here for you to take a look at. Um, it's all uh, DVR footage because I'm not running any action cam on it. Um, but I will tell you that, uh, you know, I've been a long, I hate building quads. It's been a long time since I built one, um, since the QAV 250 and then of course messing around with the tyrant and everything. Um, but, uh, the build was pretty easy. Didn't take much time at all. Things have improved a lot, flashing flight controllers and getting that stuff all tuned up. Now that I've done it a bunch of times, it's uh, way easier and cuts time off the build. Um, you can really focus on packing things up and making things as clean as possible. Um, at least that's what I did in this build. Um, I will tell you, on stock PIDs, Betaflight 3.0, this thing flies amazing. Um, I think it flies better than my Vortex with all the different Pro Tunes and the stuff that I've done with it. You know, it's got to be a combination of power to weight ratio, the X frame, nimbi the, how nimble it is in the air because of its weight. Um, it's just awesome. It's probably my favorite now compared to, to the Vortex. Um, the other thing that I did have to add was uh, Palulu uh, 12 volt step down uh, because I got a lot of noise from the little bees that took care of that perfectly. Um, I'm running a Free Sky, Free Sky uh, XSR uh, receiver in there, which you can see is real little. Right in there. Um, other than that, it's just awesome. Couldn't be happier with the build. Um, couldn't be happier with the way it flies. Uh, so if you guys have any questions about anything, any comments, let me know. And uh, until then, we'll uh, we'll see you later. Got the Gobi 210 here, testing out the motors and the new Tyrannus here. So we'll see how things go, see how the tune is. Has the Betaflight 3.0 flashed on it. Stock. On you. Fifty one, sixteen point eight volts. Think flies signal low. Really good and straight on stock pids. Barely any wobble. Sixty seven, sixteen point six volts. I'll do a close fly by us. Sixty-six, fifteen. Couple loops. Wow. I think this thing flies smoother than the vortex. Fifteen volts. 
is going to be my racing setup. I think about the only thing I would change maybe on these stock pids right now is just kind of maybe increase my RC rates a little bit, uh, the actual stick rate, but everything else just seems so smooth and so precise. Smoother than my Vortex 250, that's for sure. I don't know if it's like because it's so much lighter or what, but... You know, you can see here in the video, I mean, that is straight on, no stick input. And if I come and do one more low pass by, are you recording? Recording. No stick inputs. 67, 15 volts. Double checking everything here. Motors aren't hot at all after that flight. Battery pack is fine. Uh, ESCs are fine. Um, and that was a long flight. I mean, how long was I flying? Five, six minutes? I mean, way more than I would get out of the Vortex. So these smaller frames are definitely, uh, definitely a little bit more fun, I think, than the Vortex, even though the Vortex is pretty indestructible. This frame has a lifetime warranty on it, but, you know, other than that, I'm pretty happy. So that was a good flight. Like I said, during flight, you'll see the footage. The thing tracks amazingly with the stock 3.0 PIDs. Um, I upped my rates a little bit as far as the flip and roll rates. Um, but I didn't change the stick rates at all. I would maybe bump them up a couple bit, uh, a couple numbers, but uh, man, I don't know if it's just the X-Frame or what, but uh, you know, it's been a while since I've actually built one from the ground up because I've been flying Vortexes, and uh, you know, I'm 
pretty uh, pretty impressed and pretty happy. That's all I have to say about that. So uh, we'll cut back to the bench after this.